topic for today's Engineering Career TV episode is how important is your first engineering job? This is a question that comes from Joe, and I think a lot of engineers can benefit from this one. Joe asks, how important is your first job as a graduate engineer? If a job offer comes up and you have no other offers waiting, but you know that it isn't what you truly want, do you just take it regardless just because there's nothing better? Or do you pass on the opportunity and find something else until you get an offer you are really passionate about? Joe, great question. I have a couple of answers for you here. First of all, there are two things that are really important as a young engineer starting out. The first one is money. You probably have student loans. You're trying to build up your savings, maybe to get a car or a house. You need money. So don't put off too many jobs because it is important to start to build up your savings. That being said, with regards to your engineering career, the most important aspect of starting out is learning and being a sponge at whatever job you can get. Soaking up everything they want to teach you, building your network, finding a mentor, doing all these things you have to do at a young age. And the only way to do that is to get a job. Quite frankly, I never want to tell anyone to give up on their dreams or give up on the perfect job. But that doesn't mean you can't keep looking if you take the first job you can get. I'm a big proponent of working, getting the experience and learning. And you don't want to risk losing out on six months of experience and money because you passed on one job. If it's a good job, decent offer, take it and start doing the work and learning. Maybe it's not exactly what you want to do now, but who knows, maybe you'll like it. But even better, you're going to start to build up your experience, your credibility, and your network. And then you can keep your eyes open for another job down the road. I hope you found this episode of Engineering Career TV helpful. Remember, you can go to engineeringcareercoach.com forward slash ask and submit your question. This show is for you, and I want you to take full advantage of it. You can find all of the episodes categorized by topic at engineeringcareer.tv. If you would like to discuss issues like this and other engineering career goals and challenges, I recommend you join the Engineering Mastermind, an online support community we have created for engineers at theengineeringmastermind.com. For the price, you can't get more specific, targeted engineering career advice and assistance. The Engineering Mastermind is not about helping you survive as an engineer. It's about helping you thrive. This is Anthony Fasano, author of Engineering Your Own Success. Please subscribe to this show on YouTube or iTunes, and I'll see you next week.